adding a link to your Google Doc lesson plan is pretty easy. We can do it in just a few clicks. Let's take a look at how. So I'm filling out this host teacher form for Teacher Lab, and I'm down to the question linked to Google Doc lesson plan. Here's the steps I'm going to take to add the link here. Leaving this tab open, I'm not going to close out the host teacher form. I'm going to, in a new tab, get to Google Drive. And now I'm going to track down my lesson plan that I want to add a link to. Here's my lesson plan, so I'm going to double click it to open it up. Once my lesson plan opens up, I'm going to look for the blue share button in the top right corner of the screen. So I'm going to click on share. You'll notice right now my lesson plan is private, and I'm the only one that can see it. I'm going to now click advanced. It's not ready for the shareable link yet, so I'm going to press advanced. And I'm the only one that can currently access this. I'm going to change this. And I'm going to say that anyone with a link to this lesson plan can. I don't want them just to view it, and I don't want to give them editing rights. I don't want them to change my lesson plan. I'm going to choose the middle option, can comment. That will allow my participants in Teacher Lab to add comments to my lesson plan without editing my text. So again, we went to share advanced. We're going to go to change. And we're going to say anyone with the link can comment on my lesson plan. Now I'm going to press save. And here is the link to share. So I can right click on this link while it's highlighted and choose copy or control C on the keyboard. If the link's not highlighted anymore, we're going to have to double click it to highlight it and then right click and copy. Now I'm going to come, I can press done here, back to my form. I'm going to paste or control V that long link there. And now I can press submit after I answer the last question. That is how we can add a link to our Google Doc lesson plan for Teacher Lab. Thanks.